This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, September the 11th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters coming to you from Norfolk, Virginia this morning where we have clear skies. However, as the satellite picture shows, it's not clear across the state of Alabama. We have some clouds uh, thanks to a frontal system that has managed to make it into the state. The frontal system brought some showers and thunderstorms last night, uh, but most of those stayed in the Tennessee River Valley across North Alabama with uh, a few spots getting on the order of a third of an inch of rain. The front, as you can see from the, the uh, surface map, is across the southern part of the state, and it's uh, likely to stay there and wash out across that area. In the meantime, in the upper atmosphere, we have a trough coming across uh, the Great Lakes area, stretching down into at least the Ohio River Valley and barely making it to the Tennessee River Valley, which is why the front is washing out, and that trough expected to move over to New England fairly quickly. Temperatures across central Alabama in the lower 70s this morning. We do expect to see temperatures climb probably into the upper 80s today, uh, staying a little bit cooler thanks to the presence of a few more clouds. Watch warning map is fairly quiet. We do have some uh, high fire danger. That's the bright pink, uh, reddish pink colors out there in the Rockies, as well as the uh, purple area in Montana where there's some winter weather advisories. And the QPF kind of tells you the story for the week ahead. It looks like we're not going to see much in the way of rain, uh, some showers along the coast, and we may have some diurnal showers uh, each day. That's a possibility. But uh, probably not going to be till the end of the week and into next weekend before we see another front. The Storm Prediction Center has uh, no marginal or slight risk areas for severe weather for day one. On day two, there's a marginal risk area in parts of Iowa, Nebraska, Kansas, and a little bit of northwestern corner of Missouri. And then on day three, we're back to just thunderstorms. Tropics remain fairly active. We have three areas. We'll take them one at a time. The uh, area furthest out in the middle of the south central Atlantic is uh, beginning to look a little bit more organized. Uh, and it is the one that is most likely to develop as conditions in the central Atlantic appear to be more favorable. The track, uh, based on the spaghetti plots of the various uh, models, is uh, to take it out into the central Atlantic uh, to the northwest and then curve it back uh, across the north central Atlantic, so uh, keeping it away from land. The area just to the north of Hispaniola has absolutely no showers or thunderstorms associated with it to speak of. Uh, we can still more or less identify it, and that area is expected to move uh, through the Bahamas, but uh, there's not much in the way of development likely to occur. And the third area has uh, moved into the southeast Gulf of Mexico, but again, the conditions are not favorable. So while that will continue moving on basically a westerly course, it is not expected to develop. All right, let's take a look at the 06C GFS model run. And uh, there's the, the uh, uh, upper air chart for this afternoon. And you can see that trough moving through uh, uh, northern New England as the front is going to be dragged across our area. And uh, so the front more or less washing out, as you can see from this uh, surface uh, chart. Best threat for rain to the south uh, of the Birmingham area across south Alabama. The ridge begins to develop back in here on Monday. And uh, so we'll stay with just the possibility of some isolated showers on Monday, driven primarily by the heat of the afternoon. I think most of us stay dry, unfortunately. On Tuesday, the ridge beginning to bulge up as we see this fairly substantial trough develop along the western United States. Uh, and then by Wednesday, uh, the upper ridge still showing uh, its uh, self across the lower Mississippi River Valley. And then on Thursday, we see the ridge beginning to bulge up. Thursday is uh, likely to be our warmest day. Yesterday, we were thinking the strength of the ridge was going to keep it uh, or allow temperatures to climb into the mid-90s. May not get quite that warm, but at least the lower 90s for sure. But still, even on Thursday, enough moisture around that we may see an isolated shower or two. Friday, the ridge uh, pretty strong across the eastern third of the country as we have a little bit of a trough coming across uh, the north central part of the United States. 
And so once again, that just keeps us in showers. We may see a few more showers uh, possible on Friday uh, because, as you can see, the surface flow becomes southerly. So while the moisture levels stay up most of the week ahead, they should increase somewhat on Friday. Saturday, uh, the ridge moves off into the Atlantic as the trough moves across the uh, central United States. And that trough moves into the eastern Great Lakes on Sunday. That should drag a front down into the area on Sunday. So it looks like right now the best chance for rain could come probably on Sunday with the approach of that cold front. Looking out into voodoo country, uh, the ridge uh, raises its ugly head once again around the uh, 20th of September. So it looks like we're going to stay with some pretty good warmth. We get out to the 23rd, and we have a bit of a troughiness over the eastern half of the country, so that it means at least a little bit of a cool down. Probably not a really strong air mass change uh, because the trough isn't that deep. And then, yep, the, <laughs> the upper ridge comes back around the 25th. Sink can't seem to get rid of that pesky ridge at all. That'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. Uh, James Spann should be back in the saddle with the next edition first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime, stay tuned to the blog for notes on Alabama's weather. I'm a meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day and Godspeed.